Alright guys, so Poshmark is actually the ones that inspired this video today. I am putting some of my clothes online on Poshmark, but we'll talk more about that later. Basically, I love fashion. I love clothes. I love going shopping and envisioning an outfit in my mind and then wearing it out. The most exciting part of my morning is figuring out what clothes to match together. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you see that I am always putting together different clothes and different styles and things like that. And with my hair changing nearly every single day, <laughs> I am finding more and more styles that bring out different parts of me. So here is my closet. It is my Tasmanian Devil jacket. This is actually a black sweatshirt that I put on the inside. This says out of your league. It is velvet material. This is actually a long pullover that I got at H&M that I cropped. And I cropped it just short enough that you can see all my sports bra logo. This I will wear usually with high-waisted things because if I wear something that's low waist, then my body looks very disproportionate. This is actually one of the first crop tops I've ever owned. This is also the shirt that I wore to school when I was kicked out of school for wearing something that was against the dress code. Little fun fact for you, there you go. Now don't get me wrong, I love standing out in the crowd and that is why I bought a Dickies shirt at the same time I bought my miniature Dickies backpack. It's a great shirt. One of the first times I was in Los Angeles, I went to Venice Beach Freak Show, which I saw on Netflix a long time ago, so of course I had to Go. This shirt I got at Urban Outfitters a while ago. This is just a long sleeve net shirt that I can wear underneath anything or on top of anything. This is one of my favorite shirts at the moment. It is an off the shoulder cropped black top. You know, I love a good midriff and I love a good collarbone look. I got this top a long time ago. It is very basic so this will look great under any jacket. This was my favorite shirt for a very long time. It's an off the shoulder cropped plain black shirt from Topshop. This is a black bodysuit that I would wear all day every day last summer. So this was another bodysuit that I got but it is very different than my other ones because this is more of an accessory versus being an actual shirt because you still have to wear a banjo or something underneath this. This top I am getting rid of. It is listed on my Poshmark right now that you can download with the link down below and if it isn't picked up within the week then I will be donating it. So keep your eye out on there guys. And this is what my store looks like on Poshmark if you guys are interested in anything on there. black shirt as like a basic kind of crop tank top but it is an athletic shirt. The average person would probably work out in but for me I would wear this with a jacket out and about. So if you guys have been subscribed for a while then you know that this shirt is from my last lookbook video. Last time I went to H&M I got this basic yellow zip up hoodie that is easy to throw on. So if you guys commented on my last video saying that you have the same shirt as me and you are probably right, you definitely do. This is from H&M. Everyone has been wearing wearing this brand over here in Los Angeles, so of course I had to tag along. I've decided to not crop this. This is literally the last thing I bought. It is a cropped white jean jacket. I haven't worn this out yet, but I'm probably gonna pair this with some ripped black jeans. This cropped zip up hoodie I actually got from American Apparel the week that they were discontinued, which is very unfortunate, but you know, that makes it a lot more special. And this is just a plain shirt that I got at like Walmart or something in the kids section, but I cropped it and every time I I wear it, I fold the sleeves a little bit. I've worn this shirt so many times, but I love it so, so, so much. And I was given this beautiful Warner Brothers t-shirt. It was actually given to me by someone that worked at Warner Brothers. And just like my black over the shoulder cropped shirt, I also got a white one. This is a strapless dress that I absolutely love. It's easy to dress up and dress down, and I love the strapless look so much. Over a year ago, I messed around with making my own merch, and this is one of the shirts that I made available for a short amount of time. 
It says, please unblock me, which I thought was the funniest thing ever. This used to be one of my favorite shirts ever. Another one of my DIY cropped sweaters. I love a good long sleeve that's cropped. What can I say? This shirt is a little wrinkly, but it was also a dollar. And by cropping it, I made it one of my favorite t-shirts. This is one of my favorite summer shirts because I love the detail on the bottom so much. This is a plain red hoodie that I got from H&M just the other day. And this was another plain hoodie that I got at H&M a while ago. I cropped this probably a little too short. I saw this the other day and I literally had to get it. It is Nickelodeon with all the old characters on it. I haven't really got a chance to wear it out yet. And again with my Warner Brothers collection, I have this basic red t-shirt that I cropped myself. It's supposed to be a large, which like I don't understand. I got this shirt at the Jerry Jam Music Festival in 2014 when my friend James invited me to sing with him on stage. And of course when you are from New England like me, you always need a plaid flannel. This is my absolute favorite jean jacket ever. I love that the front is a little different than others and I love that there are pieces hanging down. It makes it a little retro feel. There was a time that these were the only types of shirts that I would wear. I love this shirt so much. It's such a dad button up shirt. But you know you can always tie it in the front or keep it down and tuck it in. This shirt is just a plain purple t-shirt that I got for like a dollar and I cut it in half and I actually sewed the bottoms to be a skirt. And here are all of my more quirky shirts that I don't really wear too often. These are all very interesting pictures of James Franco. I actually wore this as a dress one. Something you guys don't really know is that I have a huge collection of footy pajamas. And these are some of the jackets that I don't wear as often. I found this at a secondhand place. It is a little kid's Barbie jean jacket. And this jacket I'm actually getting rid of. It is on Poshmark right now. This is faux fur. I would match this with my pink shoes a lot. And then of course when I'm going out and I feel bougie, I have my faux fur jackets. These are both from H&M I believe. And if I do want to get a little fancier than that, pretty basic. They don't dress up an outfit and they don't dress it down either. And these are my go-to heels if I just need anything that looks a little fancier. And now I have my fancy lace-up shoes that can go all the way off your leg. And the top is clear, which I thought was very different. When I saw these shoes, I literally knew I had to have them. They're very clueless style, early 2000s with the fluffy toe. So because I am so short, I need heels and definitely ones that can go up above the knee. They just make me look so much taller. And these shoes are a little classier. These shoes I got a while ago. They have a nice clear heel. When I'm not wearing my black thigh high boots, I am wearing my pink thigh high boots. And with all my new red outfits, I need some solid red heels to go with them. So one day I stumbled into Zara and I found these metallic platform sneakers that I wore to a music festival. So I have to clean them. But look at how dope these are. Like what the heck? Because I love to color coordinate I not only bought Converse in red, but I also bought Converse in yellow too. I used to wear Converse all the time when I was younger and I am bringing them back. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. Make sure to click the link down below so you can download Poshmark for free. You can check out my page. You can also find other brands like Nike, Adidas, Louis Vuitton. If you guys end up downloading the app and making your own closet, make sure to share your app down below. Share your app. Let me stalk you. Let me find out what clothes you're getting rid of. What if, oh my god, oh my god, what if you guys list something and I get it and I wear your clothes? What a concept. And here are the shout outs from last week's video. You guys are so amazing. It means so much to me that you take the time to share my videos with other people. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me which piece of my clothes is your favorite. What's your style? What do you think would look good on me? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching my videos once again and I will see you guys next time. Bye!